This is going to be a full-on advanced guide on Google dorking and we're going to start from A to Z. So I'm going to teach you some basics and then we'll be going to some advanced things. And this is going to be a 10 minute, 15 minute tutorial on Google dorking. So <clears throat> what is Google dorks? It's an advanced way of seeing data on the Google search engine. Let's suppose you only want to see PDF files that have OSCP on its text, right? So that could be like, for example, leaked OSCP guides officially from the OSCP course. And the original OSCP guide costs hundreds of dollars for that. But this is just one example of how you can use Google Dorking. Or let's say that you want to file DB files, you know, database files for websites, and you want to see leaked database um, servers or like the database um, routes on Google, right? You can do that as well. Or if you want to see leaked credentials and then report them to the website owner, you can do that as well. The, the, the limits are endless. You can also, for example, uh, see open leaked um, router informations or CCTV that are just running on the internet that you can just see and go and just, you know, visit someone's <laughs> camera. So the limits are endless. And uh, one thing I want to just clear out is this only works if the thing or the, or the data that you're seeing is actually on the internet and is actually um, on the search engine on Google. All right. So let's just start. So first of all, let's just say we visit. Uh, we say that I only want to. I only want to see the websites that have. Uh, I only want to see the data that has this in. Um, that has this website. So let's say we see site. So we enter this thing site, and then we do the commas, or shall I say, it's apostrophes. And then we type in Flipkart. So let's just say we type in flipkart.com and we enter this. So it's only showing us the websites that have flipkart.com in it. For example, this one. This is <coughs> not the full, um, the original domain of Flipkart. It's a subdomain. It's heldplus.flipkart.com. Uh, heldplus Why? Because it includes this thing that we told Google to search. And we can then also change it, for example, to um, let's suppose we change this to this and we type in here leaked um, passwords um, txt, for example. Then it will only show us the leaked passwords in txt format. It will only show us leaked passwords in txt format anywhere in the website this thing has been written it will show us even though for example uh, you go into this one right so this is uh, print passwords top 100 k.txt this is a txt file it has all the already you know leaked passwords so let's suppose we go into this one right so <clears throat> this one is not a txt file why because we did not declare the file type right so if you want to only see the txt file extension file type then you also need to include that thing in here so how can we do that let's suppose we have leaked passwords and then we say file type is txt right and then we will only see txt files as you can see here this is a txt file let's suppose this one this is a txt file as well let's suppose um this one this is a txt file as well right so using this file type thing you can actually type in the extension that you want of the file and then it will only show you leaked uh, passwords and the file type will be txt let's suppose we change it to pdf and then the results are also even more if you go back to the txt one there are only two pages on google that has this custom search right but if we for example go to the pdf one you can see there are multiple things that we can well, uh, like multiple pages of Google. So all these are PDF files. So you just need to type file type and then type your file type, all right? And these were some basic types of Google dorking that you can do, like extremely basic, okay? Now let's get into some interesting things and I will teach you from examples. So let me just close these and I'll teach you from examples. So I have here some list of Google dorks 
that I have come up with. Like, it's not mine. You can just also Google, um, for example, Google Doc list, and it will show you different Google Docs. For example, you can visit this person's website, and then you can see there are multiple Google Docs that you can just copy and paste and try to get your creativity from here. Or there is a thing called this one. This is the most extensive uh, Google Dorking database, I think, yeah, of exploit D, uh, DB. You can see there are like multiple um, Google hacking database that you can see of. Even even you can just scroll through the categories, and this is crazy, right? <laughs> even you can go through the author, but I would recommend you to go through these categories, and we will get get to this later on. But I'm just giving you an example. So now we know what Google Docs is. Google Docs is just a way to actually tell Google that I want this very specific thing, right? And we have some examples. Now let's just say this one example. This is in title, and then we have these apostrophes, and before the apostrophes we have this, this colon, and then it's saying couch DB, right? And then in URL, it is saying that the URL should have this, underscore utils and this one, right? So what is, what is couch, uh, couch DB? You can just Google, right? CouchDB is an Apache software that is an open source document oriented NoSQL database. So it's a database kind of a thingy, uh, CouchDB, all right? And you can also go, could get the hint from the DB thing here. So if we copy this and paste this into uh, Google, you can see that first we have in title. So we are telling Google that we want results that have title like this. And we're telling Google that in the URL, it should must have this, okay? The URL should have this. So we can actually get the um, CouchDB um, database link. They are leaked. So let me just search this. And you can see here that <clears throat> we got some links, okay? And this is basically a documentation. This is not an actual, um, not an actual thing. But sometimes you'll also face like this, like you, you, even though Google will get you those results, but those are not your intended results, right? Because this is just some documentation. So let's say we um, browse some more and let's say we go here. Wait a second. We go on here. This is loading up, so <coughs> yeah, these are all to come documentation. So we didn't get good results with this door. So when you don't get good results for a door, you just delete the door, right? Again, in title means we want we're telling Google that we need this in the title, and in URL, this parameter means and we're telling Google that we want this thing in the URL, right? But this didn't get us any results, so we'll just be deleting this. And then again, this one in URL, it should have phpMyAdmin. In title, it should have this. And welcome to phpMyAdmin. So what is this? If there are no parameters and it's just apostrophes, it tells Google that anywhere on the page, if there is anything like this, then show that. So what is Google thinking is that first, it only gives us the data that has this thing in URL phpMyAdmin, and then it checks those data and confirms if it has in title phpMyAdmin, and then in those data, it also confirms if it has this. So if the data has these three things, then only Google shows us the results. So we just copy this, and we just paste this here, and then you can see there are some URLs, and this, we also got on some Stack Overflow thing. And why is that? Because it has this title. It has it in the URL as well. As you can see, uh, let me just go here. You can see it's in the URL as well. And it's also in the text anywhere on the website, right? But that's why it's also showing us Stack Overflow thing. So Google is doing just as we said it is doing, as we want it to. But sometimes the results will not be intended as you wanted it to be or wished it to be, right? It's not like useful for you. So let's say we go into some more results and then now sometimes Google will ask you for CAPTCHA. So, okay, this is, let's see this. And let's see this. Um, 
let's go to another one. <clears throat> okay, um, okay, let's go, okay, let's see this one. So this is again a documentation. This is a documentation, right? So, well, let's go to another one so we can see this one is a useful one for us because this is a PHP my admin panel so we have found a result right you can see here so now let's go to another Google Doc. let's say we say that um, in URL it should have admin in title it should have login and URL again we're typing you in URL so we also put this hyphen here and then we are saying it should either have login.asp or login.php or uh, or uh, WP uh, admin. So let's just copy this, go here, and paste this in here. So we see uh, this is less just like the um, plugins and support. This is not the actual um, admin panel. So let's go on to another one. So not so much useful results for us. And uh, let's just go to another one. Let's see, let's see. Okay, um, we're not seeing any useful results. Wait a second. Yeah, I think this is probably the one. Okay, this is a redirect. <clears throat> so a lot of these are actually blog posts. So we probably need to filter down more because, okay, this is what we found, I think so. This is a university, okay, this is also, no, okay. So we have found University of Mary Washington. This is an actual university, I think, yeah. And this is the login for their employees, I think, or their uh, teachers. So this is an authentication endpoint. So this, you know, you have found this login just by Googling, you know, this is really powerful. And if you then, I would also teach you how to use this with um, uh, like AI models to actually get creative with that. And you don't have to think and memorize the Google dorking. You can just tell ChatGPT to do it or Gemini to do it. So anyways, then this is a Google dork as well. So you're telling Google that in the title, as we have said here, it should have router login. And in the URL, it should have this URL, right? Let me just uh, move this. So <clears throat> let's copy this. So this is, of, of course, the um, this will show us the uh, Wi-Fi router's um, login information or login pages. So you can see there are multiple here. And this is for a Wi-Fi router. And let's just we've click this. It's loading. So meantime, let's go to another one. So um let's go to this okay let's go to um this one okay this is a page this is not the actual login but we're visiting this one this was this one is loading Anyways, you got the idea of what I'm trying to say here, right? So now let me just teach you how to use um, Gemini, for example. I don't have installed Gemini in here. So let's just say we do give a prompt that I am creating an educational uh, video on YouTube for Google Dorking. So give me Google dorking uh, dorks specifically for um, specifically for let's say um, C panel right I don't remember the C panel Google Dork so now Gemini will give us the Google dorks for uh, C panel right as you can see and if you do a little more prompting it will also give you more so site like this and we remove this one so we just have this this is a google dork so this one is not a good one let's just go into uh, powered by cpanel 
so let me just go here and let's go here make it more specific i'm getting lots of blog post for c panel i want the actual c panels so i can educate my viewers on it on how to um, be better ethical hacker so it's uh, thinking so it's okay it's giving us a uh, gold door so let's just go into and we have found a C panel for a church this is a church and we have found the C panel so this is an actual church I think yeah I oh, know it's, it's a university I guess no it's a church okay it's a church yeah so with with Gemini or with Grok I, I would recommend you to use more Grok I wouldn't recommend Gemini I would recommend Grok more because Grok actually gives you uh, it, it is not too much like strict around ethics right so but again this is just for ethical hacking <laughs> Do not use it for bad purposes, okay? And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> now let's get back to the exploit DB, um, exploit DB um, Google Dorks. So let's just search this, and I'm gonna show you how to use this. So I'm just gonna delete all of this. Yeah. So Google Hacking Database. Okay, let me just. Uh, yeah. So you just click the filters, and uh, you can go here. So let's say we want sensitive directories right so it's showing us google docs and there are like multiple list of google docs right so let's just say that we want this one so uh, we're just going to click on it and this is the google doc so we just search it up and it's again asking for us captcha and yeah you can see sensitive we can see and it also shows us that this what this google doc does so it's it will show us sensitive directories and you can see that it's like include and there's uh, this is a directory so and they're like multiple files you can also get the python version and multiple files as well so um this is really interesting in that sense and yeah this this is for the video and if you of course if you go uh, more into the world working stuff you can actually learn more and this is pretty useful for your recon and I've also uploaded a video on re uh, reconnaissance for web application as well. You can check it out on my channel. And I think this was a pretty useful video. If you have any questions, you can uh, ask me below in the comments. And take care.